why did M2 become so boring all of a sudden? Hey there. Oh, hello. Me and my group chat are looking for a new member. Do you want to join us? Yeah, sure. Sounds fun. Hello. Hi. Hey, guys. She's our new member. Hi, everyone. My name is Flora. I am Linda. I'm Olivia. I am Alan and that dude is Tim. I can introduce myself on my own, bro. Whatever. I'm helping you anyway. Oh, and I am going offline now. See ya. Oh, he leaves so fast. Olivia, want to play something? Sure, join me. Can I play? Oh, never mind. You can play with me. Oh, okay. Want to play Evade? Sure, I'd love to. Then they play Evade for about two hours. That was fun. Are you guys dating already or? No, I'm not dating anyone. Alan, want to play something? Sure. Um, no, I'm going offline. Is he mad? No, I don't think so. He is probably just busy. Yeah, he has his music practice. Okay, now Alan join me. Oh, wait, I got a text from Tim. Flora, can I talk to you, please? What's up? I'm not okay right now. What do you mean? My girlfriend told me that she wanted to take a break from our relationship. But now, ugh, but now she's dating my best friend. She even posted it on her story. What? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I mean, I don't know what to say. You are so nice and kind. Why would she do such a thing? Do you want to chat or play something to cheer you up? I don't want to right now. I think need some time for myself. Can you tell the group chat that I won't be online that much? But please do not say anything about the situation with my girlfriend. Don't worry, I won't. Well, thank you and see ya. Okay, bye. When you feel better, please text me. Um, okay. Why is she so nice towards me? In the group chat. Hey, girly, where is your Tim? What? He is not mine. He told me to tell you guys that. And why is that? I, I don't know. Bet he is scared to 1v1 me in Arsenal as he promised. Yeah, 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 whatever. Laura, can we priv chat? Yeah, sure. Now tell me the truth. What is going on between you and Tim, huh? Uh, what? No, I don't. Girl, it is obvious that something is going on between you two. What? No, nothing is going on between us. We are just friends. Maybe. Like he like suddenly, suddenly texts text me, me and asks me a favor. favor. That's all. Well, it better be. I don't know if you realize this yet, but there are two guys in the group and three girls. Not to even mention that you are the new girl in the group chat. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? Linda, you are starting to act like a pick-me. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with me? Girl, it is clear that you are the problem in this situation. You're getting on my nerves now. What the hell? Excuse me? I thought you came here because you were worried and wanted to ask about Tim's health. But actually, you're just trying to find a way to refute me. I just don't get it. Because I don't like you, duh. Leave me alone. I swear to God you will pay for this. Hey, Linda, what's up? Nothing much. I'm just a bit worried now. Worried about what? Why would you be worried? Did something bad happen? Are your parents fighting again? No, no, they're not. Laura is the reason why am I worried. Okay, what happened? She's hanging out with Tim a lot, and I am worried that she will turn him and Alan against me. I feel like she is pretending to be nice. Why would Alan turn against you though? Because Flora is also hanging with him a lot recently. She's what? I know that she is hanging out with Tim and everything, but I haven't seen her hanging with Alan a lot. Besides, we've only known each other for a short time. How could she hang out with both of them? Are you sure, Linda? Are you serious? Yes, I am sure. I don't trust her and she has been rude towards me. I don't know, she just doesn't seem like a person who would do such a thing. Olivia, I've known you for about two years. Are you seriously not believing me? I don't know. You really want me to get mad at you? You stupid. If you want to be mad, be mad, then be it. I do not give a fuck anymore. You have been just using me all this time. Block me, don't talk to me anymore. I don't care. But I know you will come crying to me. When something bad happens to you, if your parents fight again or someone leaves you, don't come crying to me. Well, I won't need you then. Flora, I have something want to say. Oh, okay, I'm listening. 
Well, um, I, I just want to tell you that I'm bisexual, and I just know about that. Oh my, congrats. I always support you. No, no, that's not what I mean. I mean, can you, can you be my girlfriend? I really like you. Oh dang, oh, dang. I, didn't I didn't expect, expect this. this. I'm sorry, Olivia, but I can't. I'm straight, so you know? Oh yeah, I get it. Hey, don't be sad, okay? I guess you'll find someone to suit you soon. Maybe, I don't know. Oh no, hope she doesn't get mad at me. Some days passed. Tim told me that he will be online again for some minutes. That's great. Hey, Linda. Hello. Uh, uh what's wrong? Did something happen between you two or Flora? This is none of your fucking business. Like, shut the hell up already. You get on my nerves so much. Even listening to your voice annoys me. You are the new girl in the group chat. And you act like you are someone important, girls. What is going on? I act important, girl. Excuse me, you and Olivia are the ones. Who left me alone with Tim some days ago. You two playing alone without shut even inviting me. Shut the hell up. Me. And you expect me not to talk to Tim and Alan. You are acting childish, and it is not my fault. You just get mad for everything. Flora, what was that? Why are you yelling at Linda? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Flora is being a pick-me, that's what's going on. Pick-me? Go learn what pick-me means and then say something. You don't even have two brain cells. So please shut the hell up before I make you do so. Damn, Flora. Calm down. It's not a big deal. You're overreacting. Congratulations, Tim. You don't know how to comfort a girl when she is mad and sad. Great. Why should she be sad? She is the one who... Go talk to her. You believe me, right? She is a pick-me. Linda, I don't know, but I'll go see if she's okay. What the... I hate you all. Come on, Flora. I know that you are not okay. So what? Still, Tim will take Linda's side. Olivia will too, and I don't know even if I can trust you. Flora, let's just go play something. I don't want the attention to be on me. I don't care about- I care about you. Alan, what was? Nothing. Did I interrupt something? No, actually great timing. I need to talk to you two about something. Go ahead. What is it? Do you believe Linda? I honestly think that she is being dramatic. Like she was when we added the A to the group. So I think that she will realize what's going on. And then become friends with you. Yeah. I would give her a chance to apologize. After all, she was a nice friend before all this drama happened. A chance to apologize sounds great. But we are not sure if she will apologize to Flora. If she does then it is great. But still, we don't know if she could plan something else. So you guys are advising me to give her a chance to apologize? I don't know. Because I do not know her as long as you two do. So I think it is the best that you choose. Maybe we should try giving her a chance. If she really doesn't apologize to you, then be as angry as you want. Okay, okay. Hey, Olivia, please don't ignore me. I just want to say something to you. Yeah, but quickly. I don't know why I was like that towards you. I was mad at Flora that I couldn't control my emotions. Please forgive me. <sighs> you have been my best friend for the past two years. Of course I forgive you. But yeah, gotta be honest, Flora is annoying though. See, I told you. I have an idea how we can kick her from the group. Say it. First we befriend them. When we are close friend to Flora, we will find out about her secrets and then expose her. Or do something horrible to her. But not that bad. You know me. Might as well tell Tim some lies about her. That sounds great. Let's do it. Linda, I'm giving you a chance to apologize to Flora. Or I'll kick you from the group. Well, I'm sorry. Sorry isn't enough. And I feel like you're still not very sincere. Okay then, I'm so sorry, Flora. I was very bad in the past. Please forgive me. Not enough. Alan, it's okay, Linda. I do forgive you. And I'm sorry for the things I have also said to you. Thank you so much. Wait, wait I, got, I a got, a got a message from, from Alan. Alan. I'll be right back. Alan, is something wrong? I don't trust her. But she just apologized. It's okay that you do not trust her yet. I understand, but you do not have to worry. I do. What if she tries to do something crazy? Alan, I don't think she will. Tim will kick her then. But thanks for caring, though. I always will. Haha. -ha. Thanks again. Now, let's go back to the group chat. Flora, do you want to play something with Olivia and I? Sure. Okay, join me. I have a perfect game to play. Tim. What is it? 
I don't trust Linda or Olivia. I mean, it is weird how Linda apologized all of a sudden. Alan, you don't have to be so overprotective for Flora. She will be fine because I am here for her. So Flora, who do you like more? Tim or Alan? Oh, spell it out, girl. Don't be shy. Oh no, I already have a crush on someone else. It's not them. OMG, you do? Who is it? Well, he's my friend. His name is Louie. Hey, I have an idea. I can make him like you back. Oh, really? But how? You don't have to ask. Just add him and let us do the rest. Okay. Why are, Why they, are suddenly they suddenly so, so kind, kind today? today? Well, well, I guess, I guess I'll, I'll, try. I'll try. Sometime later. Why hasn't Linda been online these past eight days? She's helping Flora with her crush. She had a plan to make him like Flora back. She probably felt bad for what she had done. That doesn't seem right. What do you mean? It's weird how she wants to help Flora with her crush. Why would that be weird? Because she... Ellen, you are overthinking. What if she's just being nice? Why don't you put yourself in Linda's situation? She just wants to be a nice friend and she apologized. She's still our friend. I don't know why do you consider her as a bad person. You don't think that it's weird? What if I am overthinking? Is it your problem? No, sometimes I even wonder if you really care about Flora. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. You like Flora? Shut up. Hey guys. Oh, here you are, Linda. I've been waiting for you all this time. How are things going? Oh well, I want you guys to meet someone. Okay. This is Louie, my boyfriend. That was rude. Why did she leave like that? Did I do something wrong? No, no, Louie. It is her, not you. I'll, I'll go, go talk, talk to her. her. I will. No, I said it first. Tim, Alan, none of you two will go and talk to her. Why? I will go and talk to her. You know, because we are both girls. We understand each other. I'll be right back. This doesn't seem right, I swear to God. Alan, shut the hell up. No, you should shut up, Tim. Ever since mom and dad got divorced and you went with dad, you have been acting like an asshole. Oh, really? Well, I thought that we had a deal to never talk about our past in front of our friends. And why is that? Are you ashamed of yourself? Are you ashamed that we are brothers? Ashamed of telling everyone the truth? Guys, calm down. Yeah, there should be another. You two stay the fuck out of this. That's what I'm talking about. You are an asshole, Tim. Why would you even go with dad? You forgot what he did to mom and us. Why I went with dad isn't any of your business. And I bet you are jealous. Because you stayed with mom and did not go with dad. I've always hated that woman and I always will. I don't know what the hell did dad tell you about mom. But whatever he did, you have no right to speak about her like that. Flora, listen to me. He fell in love with me. I couldn't just turn him down. But you knew I had a crush on him. You were supposed to help me get with him. As you said not to make him fall in love with you. Flora, you are not listening. Don't talk to me. Or what? What will you do? Tell your Tim about this? Or your Alan, huh? What? What do you think Tim would do? If you tell him that Louie is your crush? I mean was your crush. He won't do anything if you try telling them anything. I swear I will make them hate you. It's as easy as making your crush like me. You idiot. Maybe they already hate me. Who hates you? And no, no one. I hope, but I was just muttering random stuff. Sorry. Don't apologize. I was just wondering why did you leave as soon as Louise joined? Should I tell him the, the truth? Flora? <sighs> well, Linda, I told her who my crush was. It was Louis, so she wanted to help me get with him. But instead of doing that, she lied and made him fall in love with her. And now they are dating. I just feel hurt because she knew I liked him. Why didn't you tell me right away? She said stuff that made me think. I was annoying to you and Alan because I can't deal with my problems alone. Don't listen to her. Let's go back to the group chat, okay? I will help you. Really? Yeah, I trust you, you know? Okay, thank you so much, Tim. Flora, how could you? I can't believe you. I thought you were my friend. I'm sorry. What the fuck? Don't act stupid, Flora. You are the reason why Tim kicked Alan from the group. It's all your fault ever since you joined. Nothing was going as it should be. I wish we never added you to the group. You are ruining everything. I hate you so much and the fact that you are mad because Louie and I are together. You are pathetic. He fell in love with me, so it isn't my problem. Just tell me what the hell did happen. Why is Alan kicked out? What happened? 
What did I do? Tim told us everything. All this time you were talking behind Linda's back and you never felt comfortable around her. And you even wanted to kick her out. You hate her? What is wrong with you? What? I never said I hated her. She hated me the whole time. She even told me that. She would make Tim and Alan hate me. She's lying? I'm not. Tim knows everything I've told him. He knows the truth. But you are the one who brainwashed him and told him to lie to you guys so that I would be the villain here. Linda did not brainwash Tim. Olivia, you too? I wouldn't be surprised if you were a part of Linda's plan. I knew that I shouldn't have trusted you. Or give Linda a chance to apologize. You two are literally like two snakes. Don't call my girlfriend a snake, you witch. Louie, stay the fuck out of this. Because this isn't any of your damn business. Like, who do you even think you are? You don't know anything about me. Or this whole damn story. You are dating Linda. That's it. And you do not even know what she truly is like. So please shut the hell up. Tim, add me back to the damn group. No, I don't think I will. Then at least tell me what was the point in doing all this. Why did you lie about Flora like that to Louie and Olivia? So that Linda could act like a victim here. Exactly. You know how I am, brother. Flora is a human. She has feelings. She did nothing wrong. Why do you have to be such an asshole? Why? Because you have always been the favorite child. I hated it. You have always been so overprotective of me. Even if you were younger than me, brother, I was mad because you'd always get the attention. I just wanted to be as happy as you were. I still do, I know that. If I make a problem and drama in the group about Flora that you would be sad. It's obvious that you care about her. She's your friend after all. The thing I did was wrong, I know. I know I can't fix what I have done, so I just be it. Tim, you could have just told me how you felt. I would understand you are my brother, but you shouldn't have lied about Flora. She's not doing anything wrong. If you want to be mad at me, then just do it. Don't drag others into our stories. That's not their fault at all. Ugh, but I... What should I do now? She definitely doesn't want to look at me anymore. You can always apologize for what you have done, even if someone doesn't accept the apology. But an apology is better late than never. I bet you will accept it. It's worth a shot. Uh, I'll try. Flora, here you are. What is it now? Tim has to tell you something. You're the prettiest girl I've ever seen. Tim, you aren't supposed to fucking flirt while making an apology. Oh yeah, yeah, my bad. Sorry, okay. So I apologize for everything I have done, Flora. I just wanted attention and I was being an asshole. I don't know if I can trust you. I know how you feel, Flora, but if we gave Linda a chance to apologize, we can give it to Tim too. He is my brother anyway. Your brother, not mine. You can't suddenly come and hurt me. Then force me to apologize as, if you haven't done anything to me. We won't force you. I mean, I'm begging you to give my brother another chance. We know this is going to be very difficult for you. So we are begging you. Please give me a chance. I know I was wrong. I will do everything I can to make you happier. Okay, Tim, I forgive you. But you should finish what you started. I don't like having people behind my back. Saying gossip about me. I mean, Olivia and Linda. You know me. I get it. I started this so I will end it. He's so random. Yeah, I see. But at least he has the attitude of wanting to correct mistakes. So things aren't too bad. See, I told you. Linda. Oh, here you are, Tim. You know what? Laura is so rude. She called me a bitch and even worse. She made fun of me, my face, my body. I can't believe it. Yeah, yeah. She told me that I'm ugly. Yeah, you are really ugly. Yeah, I. What the hell? I already know that everything you said is a lie. So there's no need to act in front of me anymore. Your lies suck. Your friends is suck and your mom too. What? Don't ever show up and talk to me again. I wish I wasn't friends with you in the first place. Olivia. Huh? You're gay. What? Who is more pathetic than you? Confessed to Flora unsuccessfully. Then turned around and said bad things about her. You are the most pathetic person I have ever known. I don't want to be friends with a loser. So don't ever see me again. Also quit that bad habit immediately. Otherwise you will be lonely for the rest of your life. What the hell? And you, loser. Excuse me? I didn't do anything. Your girlfriend is a gold digger. Pick me girl. She even committed adultery many times. But you believe her like an idiot. I wish you will be cheated of all your money by her. And then you will understand how wrong you were. Bye. I'm done.
Oh, that's fast. Yeah, at least I can talk about my true feeling. The end. A year later. Is that a trio too? What is it like each month of trios? But it's been a year ever since. Wow, I miss them. When are we planning to come back? But whatever imagine right. Just look at your cousin, such a cute baby. What's her name, Mom? Not sure, but speaking of names. Since we arraign a new city close to our modeling center. Huh? huh? Yeah? Me and your dad are thinking that you sunny darling should use a different name to strangers. To avoid paparazzi, you know? Is that necessary for Heather? Yes, sweetheart. What me? Yes, honey. Sunny changed her name since she was six. Her real name is Helena, right? Helen, not Helena, Mom. Right, sorry. Just used to Sunny. But why didn't I know that? You never asked so. And also, what's the point for changing my name? Fans will know my name. It's a modeling thing they know my face. It's for strangers, honey, not fans. How am I supposed to know the difference? Fans call you by Miss Stone. Strangers don't. I have an idea since Emma likes hazelnuts. Her name should be Hazel. Ha ha ha. That's a nice name. Suits Emma. Right, Emma? Oh yeah, ha ha. Emma, can I talk to you? Sure. I think you're a little obvious. Oh, sorry. I can't help it. Well, I'll try my best to retrieve all our accounts, since we have a week left. That's kind of risky. Sunny. It's okay. Nothing bad is going to happen anyways. All right. Thank you, we guess. Carefully, you know Mommy always checks on us. we Will do. Fiora and Layla conversion three months ago. I thought we talked about this already months ago. And I didn't agree and asked your opinion. Just keep your child, Layla. How many times do you want to hear my answer? It's a no, and why do you want me to? You know what? Bruh. Have my kid instead, and let's see. How you suffer as a teenage mom. Are you hearing yourself? It's like you're giving away a child. Yes, I'm hearing myself, Fiora. Literally, why I want an abortion. Fine, go. Do what you want. Like you know? Shut up, Kristen. Why do I have to have an obsessed stepsister? Not you too. Bruh. Gosh, you're like, excuse me. I'm not your stepsister. We're both siblings. I'm your younger brother. And you're expecting me to. We'll get you a new Roblox account and be rich. Yeah. You're better than this, Kristen. Wake up, Kristen. Shut up, gosh. Thought you could help me. <clears throat> so you're my cousin's friend? Yes, I wanted to tell you something. Go ahead. I like you. Well, that was straight to the point, and also, no. I have a girlfriend. <clears throat> Ouch. Will you always use that excuse to reject us girls? Yeah, maybe because I'm just patiently waiting for my girl to come back, okay? Imaginary girlfriend. Is that all you have to say? If that's all, then bye. Bruh. Gosh, why did I like you? Hey, James, what's up? What's up, dude? I heard you rejected Violet. Yeah? Geez, how can you? She's like a 10 and nothing. She's not Emma. Well, of course Violet is Violet. How do you do that anyways? Do what? If you love the person, you do anything for her. What? Even if it's risky? Sure, yeah. I mean, give or do all you can. For that person, you really love. Wow, no wonder you really love her. Yeah, a lot. Another day without them. Not surprised I expected that haha. -ha. Maybe I should go out and have fun alone. I can't believe this. Believe what? I am the queen. I am the best model in the center. <gasps> yeah, in this sentence. I am going to destroy that girl. You don't even know her yet. She might be the CEO's daughter. Unfair. Just deal with it, Brett. Everything doesn't belong to you. Just like James. He is not yours. Shut up. Bruh. No wonder Olivia dumped you. Can we not? It's been a year since I logged in. Oh my god. 99 plus chats from Vanessa. And actually, how did I not think of them? Fiora joined the group chat. Oh my god. Vanessa, Emma, are you guys there? Vanessa, active an hour ago. Emma, oh my god. I am so sorry, guys. I have been away for too long and never informed you all. I focused at school. 
exams with my sister, and a lot more stressful stuff. I am deeply sorry, guys. But don't worry, I'm back. Meanwhile, wow, being alone isn't that bad after all. Although miss you, my trio. Well, I hope to see you these unexpectedly. Girls, are you all ready? Yes, Dad. Um, Dad. Don't you worry, Emma. It's your first time. It's normal. You'll do a great job. You think so? Oh, I know so. Let's go. Attention, everyone. Stone family are here. Please welcome my daughters, Emma and Sunny. Ah. Mrs. Smith, is there something wrong with what I said? No, no, sir. All right then. I hope you all get along together. Mr. Cattle, start introducing yourself, please. Yes, sir. Hello, everyone. I am Xavier Cattle, and I am 17 years old. Looking forward to work with you all. Hi, I'm Max Smith, turning 16. Hi, I'm Violet Cattle, turning 17. Love your smile, Emma. Thank you. I'm Emma. It's my first time modeling. I'm 16 years old. Sunny here? It's been a while. I'm 18 years old. Aye, aye. Her name is Kristen, and she is turning 18. Kristen? Sorry, I can't wait any longer. All right. Everyone for your first task all together. A group photo. Easy. Sorry, sir. I feel like I'm not feeling well. Sir, I think my sister here is making excuse. No. Everyone stage for now. Meanwhile. Fiora. Vanessa. Holy shit, am I dreaming? What? You're chatting replying? After a year. I know. I'm sorry. I just came back now. You. I missed you so much. Only me. And Emma. Where is Emma? Disappeared like you. What the FDID? You ask James? Oh my god. After a year, I never thought of that. Bruh. You're so stupid. I'm sorry? Yeah, James right now. He not my friend. Gosh, Vanessa. How did you survive without us? James has been added to group chat. Oh, hi. It's been a while, guys. Hi. James long time, no see. Where is Emma? Sorry? Vanessa said Emma deactivated. All her accounts, and it's been a year. Yeah, she did. What the hell is the reason? She never told you guys. We wouldn't ask you if we knew. Oh, well, Emma and I broke up. She had no choice. The reason is because... She had to work at her parents' company, and she won't have time for all the stuff. Her parents told her to delete all her accounts, but I asked her to promise me to come back, and that will be waiting for her. Did she promise? Yes. I can't believe in her parents. Whoa! I believe in you, James. It's been a year since Emma's gone, and yet you're here waiting for her patient. Where to find a guy like you, James? The one whole love you, endlessly. Ha ha ha. After the conversation, Fiora and Vanessa played for an hour. Hey, Fiora. Another round? Actually, I have to go. Oh, all right, okay. Thanks for coming back, Fiora. I missed you guys so much. Gosh, Vanessa, don't thank me. I'm sorry for disappearing. All right, all right, you go now. Hey, Fiora. Sorry. Who are you? Fiora's boyfriend. What? You bish. Don't believe him, Vanessa. He's my friend. You believe me? <laughs> Lol. What? For a second. Bruh. Anyways, you were saying you're going to go now. Right. What made you join me? Just missed you. Oh, my Max baby missed me. Shut up, Flower. <clears throat> Who the hell disappears like here a year and comes back like nothing happened? Me. And also, you disappear a month and come back. Well, that's a month, not year. Fair enough. Don't do that again. Sure, sir. Heard you liked me. Fake news. Lol, I know you're lying. Liked you as a friend? You're my greatest enemy. I heard enemies till love was worse. Shut up, flower. Gosh, Max. Likes, I don't blame you. Never said I did anyways. How are you? How's things going for you? Lol, look you do. Can't I care for my greatest enemy? Sure. Whatever you say. Bruh. Answer my questions. Meanwhile... Emma, I have news. Emma? Oh my god. Mom Emma is not her room. Emma, where did you go? You're overreacting, Sunny Gosh. I was doing my skincare. Sorry. Anyways, what's your news? 
Is it good? Yeah, I opened accounts and yours. Lower your voice, Sunny. Right, but a little problem. What is it? Back to Max and Fiora. Don't worry, I'm all right, Max. All right then. Gosh, I'm not used to you, babe, like this. I guess Olivia a little bit changed me. Plus, as we have a toe catch up, you know? Fair thought. Babe, is this you or someone else? Stop the act. Thought you didn't like me, huh? You just want to calm yours. I could be a better boyfriend than him. What? Oh, sorry. I was singing. Did I disturb you, guy? Yeah. And no, Fiora. Maybe you want to not me. Shut up, Max. <coughs> You're acting weird, Vanessa. What, me? Nah, lol. You never say lol. Someone's jealous. I'm not. You know what? Why did I even come back here? Just chat me when you need me, Fiora. Okay. I see it. She likes you, dummy. No, she doesn't. Maybe you do. You're flirting with me, huh? Bruh. Jeez, I just kidding with messing around with you. Well, you disappear. What is it? When we access and log in accusing our account, the email will notify that we opened it and showing the location something like that. Well, I can open our emails in my computer and delete the notifications and verify it. But dad has his notifications always on. Then we wait for them to be all asleep and take their phone. I have a smart little sister. Mama! Mom? Hey girls, why don't you guys seem shocked? Nothing weird, we just. Doing a surprise gift. Oh, okay. How long have you been there, Mom? Just now checking on you guys. Well, wouldn't want you to hear our surprise. Yes. So, Mama, will you leave us alone first and plan more ideas? Definitely. Enjoy, ladies. What's the surprise gift? Again. Oh, ha, ha. How could you forget Sunny? Mom is watching us Sunny, a cologne Sunny. All right. I have to go now. Let's talk more about this later. Okay. Where are the others? My sister has more important plans than this, I guess. Violet go out of town for her treatment. It's too personal, so let's just say that. All right, so it's only the four of us? Can we skip this meeting and just do it next week, maybe? Since we have to be complicated, talk about things. Great idea. Let's ditch this. Okay, I guess it's a valid excuse. So, can we get to know a brother? Yeah. Max, I have a question. What is this true or dare? Sure, does your sister Kristen have Roblox? Wow, Roblox, I haven't played that thing for years. Yeah, she got banned for being obsessed with someone who has a girlfriend. So that's the Chris and the Nerve Emma. Sorry, I'm kind of not getting what you guys are saying. I bet you know who I was already. Am I right, Max? I'm not going to lie, yeah. Sorry for my sister. All right, guys. Have to go follow Violet out of town. See you all next week. Bye, nice to see you. Max, truth or dare? What? It's Emma's turn first, then you, then me. All right, Emma. Yeah, okay. I will dare you. Okay. I dare you to talk to Kristen and tell her. Ask her about James. That's easy. While she's drinking water so I could see her joke. I love that dare. Hey, James. Can I ask a question? Sure. You make it quick, maybe. I have to go somewhere. Okay. Straight to I'm kind of admiring someone. Wow. Don't tell anyone. Or I will sue you. Why tell me, though? I need tips. Advice. About? Love. Stop! I said kinda. And my mom, Mr. Bindelinda. I felt like you're not ready to commit. To some, if you know, you know. Well, take the risk, Fiora. Fiora sent a message to Emma. Fiora? You know her? She's my best friend. How? All I know is parents manage your accounts. I had my accounts before. Why is Fiora chatting you anyways, Max? She's my girlfriend. What? I'm kidding. Just not yet. What isn't Fiora is lesbian? No. no? Oh, sorry. Thought she was. No, really, Max? What? No joke? Lol. I just admire her because it's impossible for me to court he. And stuff. I know she's not into commitments. Nothing impossible, Max. All right, all right. So you have no plans on replying to her message? Oh, right there. Flashback. Hey, dummy. Well, what's took you so long to read my message? Angry. I'm with my friends. Sorry. For real? Yeah. 
Why do you seem not to believe me? Because you're an introvert. Makes sense. Do you want to see them? I'd love to. It's a girl. Yeah? Be honest with me. Are you in a date? You? She's just a friend. Far from my type. Hmm. Okay. She looked fine thought. What's her name? You're so gay. She's his Emma. Sorry? Emma. As in my friend. End of flashback. So? Do I tell her? No. Uh, okay. What do I say then? You tell her that there are a lot of Emma. It can be Emma really, you know? You know I can't lie to Flower. Just do it first. I want to explain my sepal to her. Just don't tell her now. Okay. If she caught me lying, I'm sorry I have to tell her the truth. Okay. Your gentleman, Max. You have my blessings. Uh, thanks? Hey, where are you going again? Just to the shops. I have to get new shows for my cephal. Okay. Gets home safe. Would you get me some churros after? Of course. You know me can't go home without snacks. To be continue. The story continues about Derek have crushing Harry. Not jump to conclusions. It's very unlikely they are the same person. Shut up. Think about it, Harry. Derek says he likes Hallway Boy, right? Then this guy from his school recognizes him in Judy. First off, there's probably thousands of other kids. At Derek's school, and that could have been. You can't just automatically assume that. Roblox Boy is the same as Hallway Boy. It's unreasonable. You're right. I don't know why I'm so on edge about this. I feel stupid right now. Honestly. It's because you like him. Of course, you're going to be on edge. Just try not to overthink things so hard. We don't even know anything about the guy other than he helped Derek with his homework. We don't even know how the guy recognized him enough to send him a friend request. Do you really think some stranger in the hallways would put two and two together like that? No, from what Derek said, they don't even talk. He just sees him in the hallway a lot. Exactly. There's no way it's him, so there's no need to freak out. You're right, God. I feel the same. I'm going to go get something to eat, then hop off. Thanks, Mark. No problem. Night, Harry. Harry goes to offline and Mark goes back to group chat. I'm back. Welcome back, Mark. Where's Harry? He said something came up and he had to hop off. It's just us three now. Well, it is getting late. How about one last game before bed? I'm down but only if I get to pick. I am not dedicating another hour of my life to Bloxburg. You're a loss. Yeah, whatever, join me. They play Breaking Point for an hour. Well... That's just for me. See you guys tomorrow. Mark checked DMs. All right, what's up with Harper? What are you talking about? Cut the act with me, Mark. I'm not blind. I don't know what you're talking about. Harry has been so eerily quiet lately. I've started to forget he's even there. We both know Harry is the farthest thing from quiet. Something's going on and you've got to have the answers. Why me? Process of elimination. He's not telling Derek anything, and he's not coming to me. He's sure as hell not telling Haley anything. So you're all that's left. I want answers, Mark. I know you have them. Lola, I don't know what you take me for, but I do not have any such info. Mark. No. Mark. Nope. Mark, I swear to God. Look, if you tell me, I'll buy you Robux. How much we talking? I don't know. 80-80? I'm highly offended you think I'm so cheap. I don't get paid until next week. How does 200 sound? 400 and you've got a deal. Fine, 400. All right, give me your account info. Okay, the password is... Lola logs into Mark account and buys 400 Robux. Then log back into her own account. All right, you got your Robux. Now talk. Well, you have to pinky promise this stays between us, Lola. I pinky promise whatever you tell me will stay between us. It will not leave these DMs. Okay, good. Well, oh my god, this feels so bad, so uh... Okay, Marco, I did not give you 400 Robux. For you to stutter like an idiot. Tell me what's going on. Jeez. Okay, well, Harry doesn't want anyone to know this, but he's been really depressed lately because this girl he like rejected him. Wait, 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 wait. Back it up, back it up. What? He liked. Well likes this girl in one of his classes, and he finally worked up to asking her out, and she rejected him with no hesitation. He's been so bummed out these past couple of days, so he hasn't really said much. It's a struggle to even get him to talk to me some days. 
Who even is this girl? What's her name? How long has he liked her? Now personally, that's a lot of info. To be giving out for more for 400 Robux. Mark, you cannot be serious. And what if I was? Mark, I don't exactly have pockets as deep as you think I do. Let's connect the dots here. Minimum. Wage. Well then, that's just unfortunate. This information doesn't come for free. I'm quite literally selling out our best friend. Yes, for a good cause. Now, how long is he like this girl? And why have we never heard of her? Nope, 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 absolutely not. My lips are sealed. Come on, Mark, you can't leave me out in the cold like that. I'm not leaving you out in the cold and you know that. You wanted to know what was wrong with Harry and I told you. The details are not up for sale. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have things to do. Harry, Harry, red alert, red alert. Oh my God, what? What is it? All right, so basically, Lola noticed you've been pretty out of it lately. So she came to me to ask what was wrong with you? Continue. Well, I asked for 400 Robux, then I would tell her. So she gives me the 400 Robux and I tell her that. Whoa, pump the brakes. Let me get this straight, Mark. You sold me out. Sold me out for 400 Robux. That's five bucks, Mark. You sold me out for five dollars. Well, technically yes, but didn't let me finish. I didn't actually sell you out. Message not delivered. Wait, what? Oh my God, please say psych. Harry. Meanwhile, something doesn't feel right. What the hell is going on? You know what? Fine. If Mark won't tell me, I guess I'll just have to go straight to Harry. But I did make a pinky promise. Maybe just this once. Hope the current one hit too bad. Harry! Harry, I saw your come online. Respond. If you don't, I'll tell the whole group chat about your crush. Lola, please. There you are. Have you been Harry? I've been doing just. Lola, even better considering Mark. Just sold my owl for five bucks. Well, let me start this by saying, there are plenty of other fish in the sea. Yeah, none of them. What do you want, Lola? Him? I knew it. Five bucks down the drain. Thanks for nothing, Mark. All right, gotta play it safe. Well, either way. Harry, you gotta look at the bigger picture. It's one guy out of billions. There will be better out there. And besides, what made him so special? Are you hearing yourself right now? Everything. You of all people should know that, Lola. What's that supposed to mean? Well, you only possess almost every single day. I'll only get to talk them through a screen three states away. There's no way, there's no way. Is he talking about who I think he is talking about? Well, how about this? What if I played a little bit of matchmaker? Cupid, if you would. But what about that in the hallways he said he likes? How am I going to compete with someone? He literally sees every single day. All right, leap of faith. You'd be surprised. Derek is a hopeless romantic. I can make it work. Well, you know him best. If you really think you can set him up with me, then be my guest. I won't let you down. Meanwhile. Harry, Harry, please answer me, dude. I have notifications off for Roblox Dillweed. You're screaming into the void. Well, obviously not. Get it, fast. You're lucky I haven't blocked you here too. Well, if you had given me a second to explain myself, I wouldn't even be blocked. Then go on, explain, Mark. We'll have to start where I left off. I didn't actually sell you out. Oh, really? Because I had a convo with Lola about 30 seconds ago, and she knew all about Derek. Who told her that, huh? Wait, Harry, what are you talking about? Oh, for God's sake, have we resorted to playing dumb now? Is that how this is going to go? No, um, Harry, I didn't tell Lola about Derek. That's what I was about to tell you. Even though Lola gave me the Robux, I didn't tell her anything. She isn't supposed to know, I swear. Oh, yeah. Well, that's real funny considering. She just DM me, consoling me about my crush on Derek. No, like I'm being serious. I'll show you the screenshots. Hold on. Mark goes back to his DMs with Lola and screenshots the entire conversation. Taking a screen recording to show it's not photoshopped. Then goes to Harry DMs and send him everything. Look, see? I didn't tell Lola anything about Derek. I made up some lie about a random girl. She shouldn't know. No, no. Wait, wait a minute. What the F? How did she? This isn't making any sense. How did she know if you lied? Mark, you better not be talking around. I swear I'm not. Swear those screenshots are real. 
I didn't tell Lola anything, Harry, you gotta believe me. I, I do believe you are just. Mark, how the did she know? I don't know. No one knows you like Derek, but me and you. And I didn't tell her anything. You saw the screenshots. I'm Mark. I'm going to log off for a while. I need to think about this. All right, text me when you're ready. Harry log off and tries to distract himself by doing others things. But it doesn't work. He just can't put two and two together. He decides to try and sleep it off. Maybe revisit it in the morning. But that doesn't work either. He can't sleep. All he can think about is how Lola knew. He tosses and turns for hours before he gets out of bed and grabs his phone to call Lola, deciding that Lola already knew. So asking her how she did couldn't hurt, could it? Lola, I know it's late, but please answer. Yeah, what do you need? I need to know something. How the hell? Did you know I like Derek? Mark told me, remember? He asked for Robux in turn for information. He sold you out. No, that's not it. Stop lying to me, Lola. He showed me screenshots and he didn't tell you. Well, he got red-handed, I guess. So, who told you? You did. Excuse me? When Mark refused to give me any more details, I got a little suspicious. When I texted you and you described your crush as a he, it started clicking. So, I gave the most answers possible, in hopes that you would eventually rat yourself out, and you did. I'm so unbelievably angry right now, Lola. Well, think of it this way. Now you have Derek's best friend to help you score with him. If it's Danny you want, then it's better that I know. In fact, I have a plan. Oh, really? And what's that? To tell Derek you like him. Blow it up above if you can hear my prayer. Oh, chill out. Look, telling you this not only goes against the best friend code, but everything I stand for. So listen up because I'm not repeating myself. Derek likes you back. He has a big fat crush on you. Just like you have a big fat crush on him. You have nothing to worry about. Hence, why my plan is just to tell him. Derek likes me? You serious? Serious as ever. He's asleep right now, but I plan to tell him sometime tomorrow. I okay, why? I trust you, Lola. Thanks, good night, Harry. After hanging up, they both go to sleep. Lola ends up sleeping in, but sees Derek is already online when she wake up. Good morning, Derek. Good morning to you too, Lola. Are you busy right now? Because I actually have something we need to talk about. Oh, about what? I was actually going to tell you this later when... I got back, and I'm on a date with Alex right now. Excuse me? You're what, Derek? Me and Alex are out on a date. He called me cute and flirted with me last night. So I flirted back, and he asked me out. He's actually so nice, Lola. He's paid for everything since we got here. Did I mention we're at the mall? He's taking me to a movie in 15 minutes. Wait, what? I'm so confused right now, Derek. What about Harper? The one that, oh, I don't know your head over heels for. I can't stay stuck on him forever, Lola. There's obviously way better for me out there. And the way better in question is, taking you see the Matrix in 13 minutes. Harry is cool, I guess. But I just don't like him anymore. I'm way better off with Alex anyways, and you know that. You know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe all you needed was a little. Hello, is this Alex? Yeah, that's me. Who is this? I'm Lola, Derek's best friend. He gave me your number so we could chat a little. Chat a little? Why is this like an interrogation or something wrong? Not yet, thankfully. But if you want to date my best friend, you gotta go through me first. Anyways, how would you say you feel ba? Wait, 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 what? Date your best friend as in date Derek. Ah, uh, yeah. You already took him out on one date. No, to the mall if I'm recalling correctly. A date? No, that wasn't. That was just supposed to us hanging out, you know, as friends. A little hangout at the mall. Wait, pardon? So, the mall date wasn't a date? No, not at all, I swear. I just asked if you wanted to hang out since we never really hang out outside of school before. And the best place I could think of was the mall. I promise I'm not trying to romance your friend, Derek. Not to mention, I'm straight. So, it wouldn't really work out either way. Well, then, I guess my work is done here. Have a good day, Alex. Hum, you too. With this Nelly information, Lola goes straight to Derek. 
but not before skipping over the notification she got from Harry. Derek, I've gotten news. Good or bad, and please say good. I can't do this right now. Well, that's just unfortunate because it's bad. It only took a good five minutes for me. To find out Alex is straight. I'm actually about to give up. Why can't I just have one? About that, actually. I never got to talk to you about what. I was going to talk to you about. Before you left to go on the rest of your date. So, now is a good time as any. Derek, when I ask you this question, I need you to be 100% honest with me. Can you promise me that? I promise I will be 100% honest to any question asked of me. Good. Now, how do you feel about Harry? Do you still like him or what? Honestly, yeah. I've been trying my hardest to get over him, though, I promise. I kind of latched on to Alex to help. But obviously that's going nowhere. I just don't want to be stuck on someone. I know I have no chance with, you know. It still kind of hurts being around him. Just a little, though. Well, sit in your seat for this one. Because today is your lucky day. What if I told you Harry likes you back? Lola, please don't joke around like that. It's not funny. I'm not joking, Derek. Harry likes you back. I spoke with him the other day and he admitted it to me. He's putting the fate of your relationship in my hands. So I need you to trust me. What? No, this doesn't even make sense. Lola, please, if this is a joke, stop now before I block you again. Oh, for goodness. Look at this. Lola show all the screenshots to Derek. So Derek goes to private chat with Harry and tell him. So does this make us boyfriends? No, it makes us brothers, you idiot. Yes, you are my boyfriend, Derek. Okay, just give me a second to process. This is a lot. Yeah, me too. One hour later. All right, I'm back. I'm calm. I think I'm ready to tell the group chat. The group chat? Already? Derek, we literally started dating two minutes ago. Do we have to tell them? Oh no, I mean, I was just excited. We don't have to tell anyone if you're uncomfortable with it. It's fine. I get the whole gay thing. No, that's not it. It's just a lot. The process for me, you know? I don't want you to think I'm trying to hide you because I'm ashamed of liking dudes. I don't give a shay about any of that. I get it. It's just a lot. I'm okay with telling the group chat, but outside of that, can we take it slow? Yes, of course. We can at whatever pace you need, Harry. I'm not going to force you to scream on your boyfriend from the rooftops. I'm not opposed to that idea. Just maybe further down the line in our relationship in five minutes. Now, are you ready to tell the group chat? I want to get this over with. Yes, yes, I'm ready. They're all online, so let's go. Listen up, bastards. Harry, Derek, where have you two been lately? Busy, not shut it. We have an announcement to make. We have an announcement. Who is this? We. Shut your face off, and maybe you find. I guess I'll be the one to actually announce. But me and Harry are dating. Finally. Oh, thank God. What the F? What the F with the F with that? What do you two mean finally? What the actual F? Did I miss something? To put it shortly, yeah. But with how idiotic these two are, I think you're better off not knowing. Honestly. Um, excuse me. Absolutely not. All you explain right this instinct. For the next hours, they all pitch in telling their side of the story. So, you mean to tell me that while everyone was running back and forth with all this juicy info, no one thought to tell me a goddamn thing? I'm sorry, Haley. It was all just... Nope! Shut the F up! I'm so happy for you in that creatin' you call a boyfriend! But shut the F up right now, Derek. Where was my invitation to the party? Why couldn't I play Cupid? You're all lucky I don't have half a mind. To block you all and spend the rest of my life with Emma? Emma, you still talk to that bitch? Well, yes I do. And I think you'll be delighted to hear. She's not a bitch. She's actually very nice. Anyways, stop sidetracking why this was I not told anything. I want answers. I mean, I understand Harry, but Derek. Lola, Mark, what is this? If I were to tell you anything... Harry would track me down and skin me alive. Sorry, Haley. And I wasn't going to go around throwing out Derek's business. My lips were for the most part sealed. 
I promise you weren't kept out of the loop intentionally. It just kind of happened that way. I'm really sorry, Haley. No, no, I get it. I'm just so, god damn it. I wanted to play Cupid. That's what you're really mad about playing Cupid. Somebody pinched me. There's no way this bitch is serious. Very serious. I didn't get to have it on any of the fun. This should be a crime. Oh, good lord. I'm logging off. Congrats, you two. Where is she going? Probably to bed. No offense because I know you didn't get to. Play Cupid or whatever, but this is tiring. I'm going to hop off too. Congrats, Derek and Harry. Don't start slashy kissing. Or better, yes. Harry has removed Mark from the conversation. God, I'm going to lose it. Well, now that the know-it-alls are gone, I want every juicy detail I know they left out. I know you got them. Haley, we literally started dating maybe 30 minutes ago. Don't care, didn't ask. You're going to spend so much time to, making up for all the moments I was left out on. Now, spill the beans. The end. Hey, baby. Oh, hey. Wanna play a tycoon? Oh, um, I was actually going to. Play to hood with my other friends. Oh, well, could I play with you guys? I guess. Be right back. I'm so excited. Yeah, and then he called me mommy. Gross. Hey, guys. Hey, John. Hey, Johnny. Um, well, I have to tell you something. I kinda, um... Spit it out. I kinda told my girlfriend she could play with us. What? You oh my god. I don't see a problem with it. I'd actually love to meet her. Shut up, Chloe. Who? What do you mean? You duh. No. I mean, who the fuck asked? Bruh. Just add her. Right? Right. John plays added Lux. Love, fish. Hi, you guys. I'm Lux. Aw, cute. I'm Chloe. I'm Alex. And I'm Babara, and that's Jake. Hey. It's so nice to meet all you guys. To be honest, John, I expected a prettier girl. Huh? Barbara, stop. Come on, John. You know he's right. I'm sorry, Yum. Did I do something? No, you didn't. They're just UHM. Aren't very welcoming. Okay. Hey, Johnny, remember that time? You accidentally called me baby. Barbara, please stop. To be honest, you should get with Babara instead, John. Lux is just annoying. For real. Mind dollars, am I really, really annoying? annoying? Can you guys stop? Mind dollars, I don't I try, don't to, try be. to be. You literally just met her. Right. Oh, shut up, John. Don't act like you've been defending Lux. She can defend herself. She is not a baby. And you can be a decent person for once. You aren't the spawn of Satan. Why are you so defensive? Do you have a crush on her or something? So what if I do? Not like it matters to you. Are you looking for a fight? John, please stop. It's not a big deal. I'm sure they're just kidding. And she's a pushover too. For real? I don't want to play with her. Let's play Da Hood Jake. All right, join me. They're such jerks. Seriously. Why are we even friends with them? Um, hey guys, I... They're going to go play with them likes. It's fine, I'm used to it. Come on, Lux, don't be like that. Don't make this my fault, John. Like you always do? Are you on your period or something? Jesus. John, you are this close to getting kicked. Shut up, Chloe. Don't talk to her like that. She's my friend. Whatever, Lux, we're done. Huh? What? Are you serious? I never liked you anyways. I just wanted an e-girl. Whatever, don't come crawling back. Trust me, I won't. Dumb bye. John, place has been kicked. Are you okay, Lux? That was. I'm sorry. Honestly, not really. He was like my only friend. Oh, well, you have us now. Thanks, Alex. Oh, sorry, guys, but I got to go. Oh, bye, Chloe. Bye, Lux Melon. Well, want to play a game? Sure. How about Dahood? Sounds good. I'll join you. Okay, cutie. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Did he just call me? Cutie? All right, I should probably join him. In the game. Hi, okay. Let's get food over there. Um, I think we should actually get guns first. Oh, but why? The food is just right over there. I mean, I guess. Then walk over to the food. Wait, is that John and Barbara? Oh, no, there. 
Hey losers, are you joining us to apologize? No, she's probably here to beg for my love. Oh, please don't flatter yourself. Seriously, please don't, it's embarrassing. We were just trying, we? Oh right, Alex is here. Why is it just you two? Oh my God, are you dating? No. Yes, are you or are you not? We are, we just started dating, so she just had forgot. Oh yeah, right. Anyways, what do you want? Nothing. Just came to see if you guys are still losers. This reminded me to unfriend you both, though. Bye, losers. Why did you say we were dating? It was, yeah, it was just to make John jealous and stuff. Oh, I see. Um, well, want to play a different game? Sure, I'll join you. A few months later. No, I'm being 100% for real. Yeah, right. Oh, hey, Luxmelon. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Alex. Hey, I'm Lux. I actually wanted to tell you something. Oh, okay, go ahead. I meant in private. Oh, um, Chloe, could you? Yeah, yeah, I'm leaving. But I have something I want to tell you, too. I'll join you after Alex is done, okay? Um, I guess. Okay, what did you want to tell me? Well, it's just that. Um, my well, I like you, Lux. Really? I've liked you for a while. Really? Well, then, want to be my girlfriend? Yes. Well, since we're dating one too, play this couple game I found. Yes, of course. I'll join you in a sec. I need to see what Chloe wanted first. Oh, all right. Hey, Chloe, you won't believe what just happened. Oh, well, could I please tell you? Alex just asked me out. He what? I, I mean, what did you say? I said yes. Oh, right. What did you want to tell me? Oh, well, it's just that I... Come on, Chloe, you can tell me. No, I just forgot. Oh, well, I'm going to go play with Alex. Oh, cute. Just tell me when you remember. Bye. I was going to ask her out. Alex told me he would wait. I can't confess to her now. She has a boyfriend. I'll just wait for them to break up. A few months later. Oh, speaking of sister, my sis was wondering if I could add her. She's just a year younger than me. Go, go ahead. ahead. All right. Alex Love Lux added Jasmine, the fruitcake. Hi, guys. I'm Jasmine, but you can call me Jazz. You're Lux, right? Yes, that's me. I've heard a lot about you. Oh. Jazz. He seriously never stops talking about you. Jasmine. Sorry, sorry. And you are? Oh, Chloe. I think your avatar is so cute. Thanks. I love yours, too. Mine, Mine dollar, she's, she's so, so cute. cute. Oh, oh, my God. God. Let's go play something, join me. Okay. After a few months, Jasmine and Chloe get really close. Oh my god, yay. You're finally online. Yeah. Want to play the hood? I actually wanted to ask you something first. Oh, okay, go ahead. Hmm, well, I wanted to do for a while. I don't know if you even like girls. But I really, really like you, Chloe. Really? I like you too. Really? Well, want to be my girlfriend then? Yes, of course. I'm so happy. Let's tell the others. Okay, let's join their game. The end. Oh, they're playing without me again. I'm just going to join them in the game. Bro, you literally keep falling. Now you're dragging me down. The egg is way too tiny. I keep falling. Hey, guys. Um, hi, I guess. Um, hi, can you leave us alone the fuck? Uh, who invited you here? Um, noon. Exactly, now leave us alone. But I just want to play with you guys. Oh my god, can you just, you're so annoying. It was so peaceful without you be good and leave us the fuck alone. For, For real. real. I seriously can't deal with her anymore. She keeps joining us, it's so annoying. I hope she leaves. The group chat soon, she keeps interrupting our fun. Meanwhile, Rebecca, why do they keep playing without me? I'm just gonna log off. A few hours later. She's probably crying, Omo. Imagine she did it would be so embarrassing, Omeo. Hey guys, what are you guys talking about? None of your business. Oh, we're talking about you. Katie, shush, don't tell her. Why are you guys being like this? Being what? Like you guys keep leaving me out. And being mean to me, what did I even do? It's like I don't even exist. I don't know. You're just annoying. I don't even know why I became friends with you guys anyways. Why LL treat me like shit? Ask yourself you're the one. 
Who wants us to be friends? With you in the first place? You know what, enough with this drama. Rebecca private chat me. I'm alright. I swear if he tells Rebecca, I'm gonna fucking kill him. He better not tell Rebecca or else he's gonna pay for it. In the private chat. Look Rebecca, the words he said hours ago is not true. Vera and Katie forced me and threatened me to be mean to you even though I didn't want to but I had no choice. Like I would believe you. I don't even trust you after hurting my feelings. I fucking hated you guys but I couldn't leave. Because I don't have anyone else to talk to. But soon I'm gonna leave this horrible group chat. Please Rebecca believe me I didn't have a choice. But to be mean to you every hurtful. Words I said to you the guilty I care about you. Oh really? If you did care about me. You would have defended me. Or told me that they forced you before. But I'm sorry I don't believe you. But I need actual proof that they forced you. Or I won't believe you. Yes I have proof good thing I screenshot the messages. Before they deleted them but here. Send screenshots. I believe you know but what are we gonna do? If they knew you told me that they forced you. Your address could get leaked all over social media. You know what I don't care. That my address is gonna be leaked. As long as we both leave this horrible group chat. What? You could be in danger. If your address gets leaked. A guy hate both of them. How did they even knew your address? Probably because they stalked me. But we have they might get suspicious of us. Alright, let's go now. Why did you guys took so long? What did you guys even talked about? <laughs> like what a man said. It's none of your business. I fuck. Enough, that's it. I'm done. I don't care that you guys will leak my address. I'm sick of pretending. I can't let your guys hurt. Or left out Rebecca anymore. We're both leaving this group chat. W what? Excuse me, what did you just say? Miss bitch, are you deaf? Or you didn't heard what he just said? Don't you dare call me bitch. Oh wait, I already did. You motherfucker, did you tell Rebecca about us forcing you? Let me think, ah uh, yes, I did so what, you're gonna punch me. To be honest, I never thought both of you could be so pathetic and cruel. But guess what we're leaving this horrible group chat. Goodbye. Have a bad day to you guys, bye bye. Daniel and Rebecca has left the group chat. Rebecca and Daniel started dating and lived happily ever after. A man became friends with Rebecca and Daniel. And he also apologized. Meanwhile Katie and Vera left Roblox and became a better person. The end.